hello guys welcome to this tutorial it is trigonometry and we are going to look at the sign rule today please remember to subscribe to our youtube channel uninab resources like and share this video so here we go uh, from the triangle abc below with sides a b and c here we represent angles with capital letters and the sides with lowercase letters so with this we are going to look at the sign rule from this triangle so from this triangle we write a over sine a is equal to b over sine b is equal to c over sine c or this is the other form of the sine rule we have sine a over a is equal to sine b over b and uh, equal to sine c over c this is what we call the sine rule this formula is called the sine rule and uh, it is used to solve triangles which are not right angle triangle in which first two angles and any side are given if for instance angle a and angle b are given and any of the three sides is given then the formula to use is sign rule so the second part two sides and angle opposite one of them are given two sides as you mean a and b are given so either angle a will be given or angle b will be given then the best formula is the sign rule so we take our first problem here problem one in triangle ABC A is 87 degrees B is 35 degrees and C is 8 centimeters find sides A and B so we it is advisable we sketch the diagram angle at A is 87 degrees and uh, angle at B is 35 degrees uh, side C is given this is side C the side opposite C is 8 centimeters so from here we are giving two angles and one of the sides so having gotten side C side A is the side opposite uh, angle A while side B is the side opposite angle B so from here we it is possible we find the angle c here following the principle of sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees so from there we can have c to be equal to 180 minus 87 minus 35 degrees that's sum of angles of a triangle this gives 58 degrees we can now go ahead to find the uh, side a and b so starting from a we have a over sine a is equal to c over sine c so we substitute in the necessary values a is not known so we have a and angle a is 87 degrees so over sine 87 degrees is equal to side c is 8 that's 8 and angle c is 58 over sine 58 degrees so we now find the values of sine 87 degrees and sine 58 degrees so we have a sine 87 degrees from calculator is 0 0.9986 is equal to 8 and sine 58 degrees is 0 0.8480 from either your calculator or your mathematical tables so what we do now is to multiply both sides by 0 0.9986 so we'll be left with a equal to 8 times 0 0.9986 over 0 0.8480 so press your calculator we input 8 
multiplication button then input 0 0.9986 then press the division button and input 0 0.8480 and that will give us 9.421 centimeters that is the side a then we go ahead to find side b side b again will be b over sine b is it equal to c again over sine c b is not known we have a b and uh, sine b b is 35 degrees that's over sine 35 degrees is equal to c which is 8 over sine 58 degrees again we go ahead to find sine 35 degrees so that's b sine 35 degrees from our calculator is 0 0.5736 is it equal to 8 over 0 0.8480 we've already gotten that one from our previous uh, solution so we multiply both sides by 0 0.5736 so b will be 8 times 0 0.5736 divided by 0 0.8480 again pressing your calculator we have our b to be equal to 5.411 centimeters so we go ahead to problem two from lab two solve the triangle pqr completely so to solve the triangle completely we shall solve the unknown side and the unknown angles so let's extract what we are given from the problem uh, p is not given q is not given r is 43 degrees side p side p is given as 7.3 side q is not given so and r and side r is 5.1 so from here we can easily combine p and uh, r we can easily combine p and r so we have a sine p over p is equal to sine r over r so from here uh, our p is not known so we have a sine p over p small p is 7.3 is equal to sine r and r is 43 so we have it as sine 43 degrees over 5.1 so we from here sine p will be multiplying both sides by 7.3 7.3 times what is sine 43 degrees from our calculator that's 0 0.6820 divided by 5.1 so from our calculator this is 0 0.9762 p now is sine inverse of 0 0.9762 also from our calculator we have p to be equal to 77.47 degrees 77.47 degrees is the value of angle p then we go ahead to find q since we've gotten two angles here we can easily sum them up and equate it to 180 degrees so our q will be 180 minus 43 minus 77.47 degrees that is angles of a triangle so that will give us 59.53 degrees now we go ahead to find side q so again we use a uh, q over sine q is equal to r over sine r q is not known and the uh, angle q is 59.53 this is over sine 59.53 is equal to r our r is 5.1 over sine 43 degrees so again our q is equal to 5.1 if you multiply both sides by sine 59.53 and from calculator the value is 0 
then divide by sine 43 degrees so sine 43 degrees from here is 0 0.6820 which our final answer here is 6.445 centimeters so and uh, from here we have done justice to the problem we've gotten the value of p we've gotten the value of q and we have just finished serving for q that is the end of the solution to problem two we go to problem three for problem three we are to calculate the values of a that side a angle a and c in triangle a b c given that b is 17.23 centimeters c is 10.86 centimeters and angle b is 101 degrees 15 minutes so this question is extracted from work please take note of that and uh, here we need to give a sketch of the problem sketch of the problem is given here um, we are giving angle B so angle B is 100 degrees 15 minutes side C is 10.86 and uh, side B is 17.23 and uh, we need to express this completely as degrees so to express it as degrees 101 degrees 15 minutes will be um, 60 minutes is one degree 60 minutes is one degree so what we do here is this is 10 15 over 60 15 over 60 so 15 over 60 gives 0 0.25 so and this will be 101.25 degrees so we are to find side a to find side a to find side a and angle a it is not possible yet we can easily find angle c here since angle c over small c angle b over small b yeah so we are using a uh, sine c over c is equal to sine b over b so sine c c is not known over small c that's 10.86 is equal to sine b that's sine 101.25 over 17.23 over 17.23 so sine c will be multiplying both sides by 10.86 so we have 10.86 multiplied by sine 101.25 sine 101.25 is 0 0.9808 divided by 17.23 so this will give us a 0 0.6182 and c is sine inverse of 0 0.6182 and from the calculator we have it as 38.18 degrees so we can get a from here now since we've gotten two angles a will be 180 minus 101.25 degrees minus 38.18 degrees that will give us 40.57 degrees we can now go ahead to find side a so we are using a over sine a is equal to b over sine b so here we have uh, a over sine 40.57 degrees is equal to b uh, b is 17.23 over sine 101.25 degrees multiplying both sides by sine 40.57 degrees we have uh, a is going to be 17 times sine 40.57 is is 0 0.6504 then divide by sine 101.25 degrees which we already obtained from here from our calculator a is 11.43 centimeters a is 11.43 centimeters uh, that is the end of the solution of problem 3 and for now that is the end of the tutorial 
until we come your way again i remain abdurrahman omar remember to subscribe to our youtube channel uninab resources like and share this video